Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. Please like the channel as you come in so the algorithm knows that more people are liking this video so that more people can hear about this content. Boy Scouts of America have succumbed to inclusivity and decided to change their name. Yes, that's right. They have succumbed to the woke mob, as they call it. Let me say this right off the rip. I am 100% pro-woman, heterosexual man, in love with my fiance, soon to be married. I'm secure. There are two genders, male and female. Now, whatever you choose to be after that, that's on you. Science is not going to change since we like to always rely on science. Science will never change. Those two genders will never change. Your choices can change. Your two genders will never change. Just saying, if we want to be factual about it. The woke virus continued to spread in America. It's gone on and hit the, the Boy Scouts of America. The Boy Scouts of America have announced a major rebranding as it transitions to Scout in America, making the first name change in a 114-year legacy. The move is part of the organization's bid to distance itself from its troubled past, marred by a torrent of sexual abuse and subsequent bankruptcy while simultaneously embracing inclusivity. And I believe a part of that is to get if people, boys stop wanting to be a part of it because of the sexual uh, assaults that were happening that were unreported and that they came out and they finally had to admit that they were going on. So in order to rebrand themselves and gain some more financial support, they decide to let women and transgenders into their ranks because for whatever reason, they think that's going to bring them more money. But Girl Scouts didn't change their name, by the way. They're still Girl Scouts. So long past the time when little boys would go to camp <clears throat> and learn how to be men, learn how to be leaders. For over a century, the Boy Scouts of America has stood as a pillar of traditional American values, providing millions of young boys with formative experiences focused on leadership, self-reliance, and camaraderie. This name will take effect February 8th, 2025, coinciding with the organization's 115th anniversary. The CEO, Roger Krohn, claimed, though our name will be new, our mission remains unchanged. Actually, the mission it will change because it's no longer taking boys and making them become men. You've lost that. You've totally lost that now. So what are they becoming if they're transgender? They're not becoming men. Okay. I'm just saying. The organization steep in tradition has made a seismic change after decades of turmoil from finally allowing gay youth to welcoming girls throughout its ranks with an eye on increasing flagging membership numbers. The Irvin, Texas-based organization announced the name change Tuesday at its annual meeting in Florida. So they are they are basically doing this for a financial reason. They feel they're not getting enough boys, so we'll let girls in to try to beef up our numbers. At the end of the day, that's what they're doing. I served with gay men and lesbian women. They were in my platoon. I made it very clear from the outset. Our mission is our mission. What you do in your bedroom after five o'clock or whenever we get, we get released is what you do. But while we're on the clock, we're focused on the mission. And I never had a problem out of any of my lesbian or gay members of my platoon. Never. Never did they breach that, that wall. They knew where I stood. I knew where they stood. If you have a question about your relationship in those two areas, talk to me offline. We can discuss anything. But while we're on the clock doing military business, that's what we're doing. That's what you have to do. What's wrong with doing it that way? What's wrong with you being gay or lesbian and carrying on your life without forcing your ideas upon me? I'm not forcing my relationship ideas on you. You don't force yours on me. I don't force my religion up on you. Why is it you got to force your choice upon me? 
And that's what we have in this country. We have a small percentage of people forcing their ideas upon the rest of the society and, and pretty much forcing us to do whatever they want. I'm just not going to bend the knee and allow it to happen in my life. That's where I stand. <clears throat> but let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can hit this, if you can hit that like button, please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. And thank you again for watching the Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.